All right, guys, welcome back. Adjustment for the garage. So we got the Audi A4. We'll be working on this engine. It's ready to go. We got the RX7s waiting for parts over there. All right, so we're gonna, this engine's ready to drop into this big hole right here. Let's get started. All right, so the whole rad assembly here, we're gonna open it up for that engine to go in. So we got the big space right here. Make sure everything on this side is all tucked away. We don't wanna pinch any hoses, wire, or any lines or whatever on this side as well. All right guys, so you're gonna have to uh, jack the transmission up a little bit. So I put a spacer down there so that it will reach to the transmission when you don't wanna jack it up. So you jack that transmission up and you can slide this uh, engine in because of that rod on the center of that transmission, that has to go into the flywheel. That piece right there has to go into that steel shaft right in the middle. So jack up the transmission and uh, let's uh, give this a try again. We'll slide the engine right in. Just keep wiggling the engine. It's all lined up to the transmission now. So we're just gonna push this right in. Use pry bar on the engine mount brackets to lift her up and push it in. Oh, that one came off. I'm just gonna use a pry bar and line this up right here. Same thing on the other side. Looks like the other side is lined up. So we're just gonna pry this out and then uh, we'll uh, go to the right position. Just wanna go in there. All right, guys. It's all in right in place, this engine mount. Just uh, use a pry bar underneath here and you just keep rocking it till it sits on that bracket right here. This is the engine bracket. Same thing on this side, just keep prying it to the bottom down here. Keep rocking it till this engine bracket sits on this chassis bracket right there. And uh, when it, when they meet, the transmission and the engine, you can see right there, this, uh, steel plate right here is just a gasket you can see the dowel pin right there it's on the engine side now we're gonna be uh, pushing this transmission up a little high because of the dowel pin is a little higher or we could uh, jack the engine a little bit more so that the dowel pin will sit right in there it looks like it's in there All right, jack up the transmission. Let's see how it look like. All right, it's tough, it's tough to see. So we're just gonna try to use the bolt, one bolt at a time and hopefully it will line up itself. All right guys, so uh, make sure uh, torque all these bolts here. This is the 18 mil socket 12 points. So here's one of the bolts there. Uh, I got the dowel pin. Make sure I have the dowel pin right there. All lined up to the transmission. This bolt right here is for the starter. And another bolt down there for starter. I'm gonna make a video on that, how to install this starter. I believe you had to take out this, uh, that brackets for the engine mount. I think but stay tuned on that we'll uh, do that in the next video on this side right here I'm starting to uh, spin the bolts by hand for now it's all in there credit in you see the bottom of the bolt right there 
down there I'm starting to uh, start spinning it out it's hard to work on that side because of this uh, transmission cooler lines and it's on the way had to be underneath the vehicle and put a long extension to uh, turn that bolt and uh, one on the top right here is gonna have to uh, hand tight and then torque it down so here's the breakdown of the transmission bolts location five up top and then uh, four down here the a do are the those are the the dowel pin just the whole this two right here is for your starter and in the torque spec right there those numbers number one you can see number item number one is a shorter bolt and then the rest is 12 mils and newton meter right there torque spec for all those numbers so just keep spinning those bolts into the block and then there's four at the bottom down there and then that should be secured and then now i got three flywheel bolts make sure to put a blue sealant on that those are the flywheel bolts to the torque converter there's only three uh, that's gonna be access to the hole right, right here and I'll show you that on the next video that's it guys thanks for watching this is the Audi A4 2 liter signing out see you again